Yo, 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 everybody. What's going on? Hope you're all doing good. Let's jump into some uh, whitetail action. Maybe today will be the day we get that typical wreck. We can only hope, man. We can only hope that today we will be lucky enough. What's up, Ian? What's up, War Thunder guy, Carter, Blonde Bunny, Copper, CG, Kevin, Deerslayer, What Boy, ASD. Uh, we got Leo, Trevor, TG or TGJ. We got JC, Dork Vids. How's everybody doing? Then over on Twitch, we got uh, Purple. We got X X L L O Zello. I'm I'm gonna assume that's like Zello. We got Zillace. So we got Ryder, Peter. We got E Man, Sticky. What's up, everybody? How is everybody doing? Hopefully good. Oh, it's going good, Eli. It's going good, man. I'm excited for the uh, the Tackle Tuesday stream tonight. Super excited to see how things go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, nothing there. Nothing to shoot there. Nice, Sticky. That's awesome, dude. What's up, E-Man? Found my great one whitetail last night. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats on that, man. Nice, M. What's up, Kevin? Two more down. So we're starting the day on 256 kills. So we should easily be over 400 by the end of the day. Look at that little guy. <laughs> little feller. Adorable. Oh, nice, Zillis. That's awesome. That's crazy, dude. Hey, you know, if you say it enough, eventually it'll come true, TG. <laughs> if you say it enough, eventually you'll be right. Spawned a typical rack in 51 kills last night. You are incredibly lucky. What's up, Hunter Legend? Hey, Master Crayfish, what's up, dude? Couple of big males right there. I almost said couple of diamonds. Definitely not diamonds, but there's a couple of males there. That's for sure. What do you mean, Hunter Legend? I feel like if my mic sounded different than normal, more than one person would have mentioned it. Because I have not touched any settings or anything like that. Couple decent deer. Why do you prefer your grind on Layton? Just personal preference. Yeah, I feel like it's the easiest map to grind Whitetail personally. If you're trying to herd manage, like it's one of the easiest maps to herd manage. Because the Whitetail are only on half of the map. What's up, Nate? How's it going, dude? Mr. Biggeth the Riggeth. Are you ready for uh, Tackle Tuesday tonight, Sir Nate? I'm excited for it. It's going to be interesting. What's up, Lone Wolf? Oh, no, you're right. Your membership's not there. Did you change your card recently or anything like that?
if you had to like change any of your payment information, then it would have got rid of it. So that might be what happened. Oh, gotcha, Nate. Gotcha. Hey, do what you got to do, you know? Yeah, I'm super excited for the Tackle Tuesday tonight. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be quite different. Yeah, that's weird then, Lone Wolf. That's definitely strange. It won't let you rejoin either. That is odd, man. I don't think I've really heard of that happening aside from like maybe one other time. Uh, to be honest, I, I can't remember what we're going for on Tackle Tuesday. Oh, it's catfish. That's right. We're going for the catfish on Tackle Tuesday tonight. The big boy sharp tooth catfish on South Africa. It's going to be sick. If I could add one animal to the hunter rider, I'd add the pure David's deer. Just such a unique animal. All right, just one there this time. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting for sure. Thank you, Bird. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it, man. Oh, nice crayfish. Nice. Love to see it, my dude. Gosh, can I jump up on the edge, man? There we go. I did it. So that's a new one. So we actually do want to shoot him. Because we only want to keep two deer here. Beautiful. And, of course, they took down my tent. <laughs> As always, man, these deer always playing pranks on old crow. <laughs> ah, looks like a third one. Yeah, I don't think he died very fast. Lone Wolf, welcome back as a member, dude. Welcome back, man. Welcome back, my dude. That beautiful diamond badge just looking fantastic. Oh, it was your YouTube. It had some other issues, too. Gotcha. Okay. That's really weird that it was just, like, being strange for you on mobile. That, that is very odd. What's up, airplane dude? What's up, Seth? Christian, how's it going? What's up, Tyre? How's it going? Hey, Palo. Hope you're doing good. What's up, Cowboy Jed? Oh, no, Gamer Guns. That sucks, dude. That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. What's my least favorite gun? Uh, probably the 45 Colt slash 410 handgun. It's like the combination gun. It's sadly just not a very useful weapon. Uh, 
Oh, it is Tyler. Okay, I kind of figured, but I, I just read it off what it said. <laughs> Thank you once again for the membership, Lone Wolf. 42 months is crazy, dude. Like, that is ridiculous. 42 freaking months as a member. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> dude, Lone Wolf, you got to be one of our, like, longest time members on the channel. I don't think there's many people that are going to be able to hit 42 months anytime soon. That's crazy. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think so, Lone Wolf. I think she's at like 40 months or something like that. I think the only person that might be ahead of you in like membership length is maybe David. Because David has been a member since the beginning. What's up, fishing boy? How's it going? Uh, yeah, right. We're doing Tackle Tuesday later tonight. Not quite the time for it yet. What's my least favorite gun in, the, in Call of the Wild? I already answered that. So David is my enemy. <laughs> nah, David's David's your homie, you know? Not too many people have the diamond badge, you know? <laughs> there we go. Our first diamond of the day. Love to see it, man. Um, I don't know, Purple Frocken. There's like a million different things that could be going on. Had you ever opened up Silver Ridge Peaks before the update? If so, your bears are going to be at the old time. They're going to be at the 20, uh, 20 to 0 time. If you already have uh, shot all the ones at the old time, then the new time is 4 to 8. Just some happy little white tail great ones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, it's unfortunate we never got a Bob Ross Call the Wild Great One portrait. Would have been fire. Would have been absolute fire, man. I know, Blonde Bunny. <laughs> He's out for blood now. Guys, will today be the day that we seal the deal? Feels like we've been going after this thing for like 20 years. For sure, fishing boy, we definitely do. What if there was a underwater mode where you were in a cage and used different harpoon, gun, harpoon guns to shoot at fish and sharks and even whales? Would that be cool? I mean, it'd be cool, but I don't think it would fit in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Maybe in its own game, though. Like, maybe a separate, like, deep-sea diving type of game. It could work. Yeah, hopefully, Airplane Dude. Hopefully. Hopefully, the day will be the day. Only time will tell, man. I'm uh, not sure, Zillow. Not sure, man. Yo, what's up, Chip? What's up, man? Where was that aim last night with the vultures? Wow, Chip. I hit most of my shots. We just didn't have good enough guns. That's all, that's all it was. We just didn't have high enough uh, quality guns. I did get a fabricated sniper last night after ending the stream, though. It wasn't a very good one, though. It was like 153% damage. So I still need to find, like, better ones. Nothing there, eh? Hmm. 
Mm, nothing too crazy there, but we got a couple of deer. You know, I'm really thinking of searching for a new zone to add to our rotation because we have one tent that I'm not using right now. This one right here. Because we're no longer hunting this zone. So I'm debating, like, where I should move that to. Like, I kind of want to repurpose it to another zone. I mean, this zone could work out pretty good, I think. Because then it could be, like, you know, shoot from here, fast travel to here, then I can shoot those and those. It could maybe work. I mean, I don't know if they'd spook or not. I'm going to say yes, TSM. I'm going to say yes. I predict you will win your game. A craftsman blaming his tools. Hey, yes. Yes, Chip. Yes, indeed. Especially when you said you had 600% damage assault rifle and fabricated sniper and stuff. You expect a, a fellow a fellow arc human to do the same things that you did with that, but with stuff that's a quarter is good. Nah. That isn't how it works, Chip. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Kraken? How's it do? How's it going, man? I almost said, how's it doing? How's it doing, bro? <laughs> oh, hi. And this is why we love the 300 AR. Yo, what's up, IDef? What should I do if I'm level 22? Should I try to start a grind or just hunt or what should I do? I would not recommend starting a grind at level 22, no. Because if you start grinding too early, it's going to take the fun out of the game. I view grinding as more of like an end game thing. Like once you've leveled up to level 60 and unlocked all of the different like uh, equipment and stuff. Then that's when I would recommend getting into grinding. If you do it too early, not only will you likely be ill equipped so it won't be as like fun or fast. But you'll also be lacking a lot of the like fundamental like knowledge that helps you with grinding. I would honestly just recommend, you know, like hunting different species in their drink zones and stuff as you're leveling up. I wouldn't get into grinding until you're like level 60, you know? But hey, at the same time, if you want to get into grinding, you know, by all means do. Not going to tell you how to play your game, but I don't recommend grinding before level 60. Just because you kind of risk uh, losing interest in the game before you even, like, get to learn it. Trying to fish, my grandparents came and only brought four pools. Can't... Even I, I'm not sure what that means at the end, but unfortunate, dude. Yeah, for sure, Chip. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, we need to find like a like a 500 percent damage ascendant Fabby or something like that. For those unaware, we're talking about uh, our Ark Survival Ascended server. We need to get some better equipment on there, man. Three bucks, eh? Love to see it. Well, we got two. Good enough. Do I recommend doing missions before level 60? Uh, yeah, it could be a nice way to earn a little bit of extra money as well as kind of learning the map, exploring the map a bit. There is definitely benefits to doing the missions. You also do get like mission animals and some of the missions have uh, like rewards in the form of 
like rifle skins and like special unique trophies and things like that. So it is good to do some of the missions. It looks good, Chip. It looks good. I don't know if you saw, but I, I responded to your message last night. Maybe it was this morning. I can't even remember at this point. What is the best DLC map? Uh, it's going to differ depending on what type of animals you like, but my favorite personally is Emerald Coast. However, the one I recommend the most is Revon Tuli Coast, just because it's got the largest variety of stuff to do. Two more down. Oh yeah, Ark is very complicated, for sure. It's a very tough game. Took me hundreds of hours to learn, like, just like the general stuff in the game. How many kills? Uh, we just hit 300, actually. Appreciate it, Leo. What's up, Ollie? How's it going? Oh, yeah, as far as I know, uh, Cheta, I think you get the option to either shoot or take a picture of the fabled Mocha Moose. I don't, or not fabled Mocha, the Mocha Moose, but I don't think you can do both. I'm pretty sure it's one or the other. At least that's what I've seen people saying in chat whenever it gets brought up. It's been so long since I did those missions, I can't quite remember what I did. I'm pretty sure I shot it, because it's in my trophy lodge. I don't think I ever took a picture of it. Somehow messed those shots up. What's up, Disc? How's it going? Okay, so let's see. How far away is this zone? About 200. That's about 240. So could I shoot without spooking these off? I don't know. Let me try. I mean, I could shoot one. I could shoot one of these without spooking them off. Hmm. We're gonna have to think this one through. I don't know if I can do it. There we go. Now, did I drop any of these? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Wasn't sure if I got good shots or not. No, the Mocha Moose is not on Yukon. The Mocha Moose is part of the Tiawaroa missions. What's up, Metal Man? Nice, Christian. Nice. I was able to do both, but I killed it first. True. You kill it and then take a picture of it on the ground. <laughs> true, true, true. There's always that. Mocha mousse sounds delicious. Yeah, it's just, it's actually just like a, a chocolate. It's just a chocolate shaped like a mousse. That's all it is. Big two. 
Oh. Small two. Oh, yeah, it's been out for a while, uh, Bad Sock. It's in the High Caliber Hunting Pack DLC, if I'm not mistaken, or High Caliber Weapon Pack, whatever they called it. Ah, uh, no, Blonde Bunny, they're gone. They ended that a couple days ago. Unfortunately. Hey, Purple Hurts, I'm doing good. I'm doing quite well. So... I'm thinking about reintroducing this zone right here. We stopped using it because we got a level 1 there. But I might be able to make this more efficient. Might be able to set this up in a good way. I don't know, though. I don't know. Should I... We'll think about it. Just hit 40 great ones. 15 of them being white tails. Still missing 4 racks. Jeez, that's crazy. 15 whitetail and you're still missing four racks? That's wild. Yeah, what the heck? Let's do it. Let's re-add this zone to our rotation. Might as well, man. Might as well re-add this to the rotation. What was the 74th great one? It was a whitetail. As always, <laughs> it was a 50-50 rack whitetail. Half the drop tine rack, half the cluster rack. An absolute beauty. Two seventy super air has to be within some time of the next three grinds. I hope you're right, Metal Man. It's been a while since we've had a uh, super air pop up. Imagine there was a super rare in this zone, as I said that. That would have been incredible. <laughs> that would have been so good. Looks like you got rid of that lake in the mountains mid-left of the map. You popped a few great one out of it too, but the shadows... Wait, which one? Mid-left? Oh, yeah, this one. It was just inconvenient to hunt, like... It was just inconvenient to hunt, Zaki. Like, half the time when I'd fast travel to... Like, I, I'd fast travel there, right? I'd shoot a couple bucks, and then I'd fast travel back over to the uh, to claim them. Half the time I'd do that, the ones that I was on top of would spook. And, like, it just wasn't as efficient as I would have liked. Yeah, Red Deer Great Ones still exist. People just don't hunt them a lot because they don't have as much variety as the other Great Ones. Like, most of the other Great Ones are a lot more... Diverse in terms of the different racks and furs that you can get. Sadly, the Red Deer are just pretty limited on the different combinations possible. Uh, yeah, Christian, it's really fun. I like it. Oh, yeah, Metal Man. Couple bucks there. Oh, it just hit 12. It's 12.15, actually. Least favorite great one? Probably the Red Deer, for the exact reason I just mentioned. They're just not... There's just not much variety for them. They all look pretty much the same. Oh, yeah, Zachy. Could just be luck of the draw, man. 
That zone just doesn't work good for me. Now, I don't really play Classic anymore, uh, Go-Kart Rascal. Like, uh, Way of the Hunter kind of took over the realistic hunting game slot for me. And there we go. There it is. Like, I popped on Classic a little bit the other day to try and find those Blacktail. Hunted a few hours, never found one. Found a ton of regular Blacktail deer, but no Blocktails. So, that's the only Classic I've played in the last, like, six, seven months. The game just doesn't really get many updates anymore, like... Kinda just, uh, kinda just tired of it. And like I said, Way of the Hunter kinda took over for me in terms of, like, my favorite, more realistic hunting game. Hey, shorty boy, how's it going? What's up, Chope? Typical rack was my first one. Was mad it wasn't crazy looking. Didn't know at the time how rare it was. I love it now, but was used to seeing the big rack one. Yeah, it's a stunning, stunning rack. <sighs> Ow. Brother. Chill. <laughs> oh, yeah, Quinn? We'll see. Managed to get all three of the legendary fish that are currently in rotation. Also, I learned today is National Unicorn Day, which I find really amusing. That actually is hilarious. I didn't even know that was a day. To be fair, though, there's a day for everything nowadays. <laughs> so I guess I could see that being a thing. <laughs> oh, geez, Johnny. Holy... Well, let me know if it makes it. Nice, Zachariah. Yeah, the fabled glacier bears, they're pretty cool. They're not my favorite fur type for the uh, Great One Bear, but to be honest, all the Great One Bear furs look really good. Ooh, Thicky Boy 3. He big. Can we get him to turn? Probably not. Nah, I was hoping he'd turn before running off. I probably shouldn't have took the shot while he was drinking. It's floating right now? Oh, gosh. Well, have fun waiting for that, Johnny. Wait, is that a real thing, Hunter Man? Is there actually a national fart day? There's no way that actually exists, right? There, there's no way that actually exists. <laughs> that, there's no way that exists, right? That can't exist. Can I even hit this through the trees like that? No, I hit the tree. <laughs> I kind of figured that I would hit the tree. Well, next run we'll have two threes to shoot, I guess. Do I have an ultra rare? No, I don't. Never been able to get an ultra rare. Technically, I have a piebald great one in my lodge, but it was due to one of EW's hot fixes breaking a bunch of trophy lodge stuff. And so it's not a real one. Sadly, it was my first ever great one. It was a common one. I shot it. Then they put out a hot fix a couple weeks later. And any whitetail deer that you had taxidermized between Rancho release and the hot fix ended up turning into like the opposite fur of what they were. It was very unfortunate. Honestly, I've debated just deleting it because of the fact that it's not the same as when I shot it. It just feels weird, but the only reason I haven't is because it was my first ever great one. And I wouldn't want to delete my first ever great one out of my lodge. Well, 
What's an ultra rare? An ultra rare is a great one with a rare fur type. Oh, it made it, Johnny. Let's go. That's awesome. It's real big in Europe. Really? That's wild. That's wild, man. That's still just crazy to me that he, that, that even exists. <laughs> the Elemote looks better now. Oh, that's right. I did update the Elemote yesterday. Yeah, if you guys haven't check, checked it out, members, check out the Elemote. New and improved, because last one was kind of lacking, not going to lie. No, Metal Man, that would not work. As far as I know, there's absolutely no way to fix it. Just one of those unfortunate errors that happened during an update. And as far as I know, the only reason that they even had to do that hotfix that ruined them was because the Rancho update made a bunch of people's like existing whitetail and like coyotes and stuff like that have the wrong fur in the lodge. Like there's a bunch of people who their diamond uh their diamond whitetail were showing up as fabled piebalds in the lodge. And everybody was so confused. And so, yeah, when they fixed that, think of it as like they had to switch the fur types. And so because they had to switch the fur types to fix a bunch of the errors in the lodge, they essentially had to swap the furs of the ones that you got during that update as well. What's up, Hick? How's it going? Yeah, I haven't streamed on Twitch in ages. I stream on YouTube like four or five times a week. But yeah, I, I just started streaming on Twitch again like a couple of months ago. Oh yeah, I still chat with John like at least a couple times every couple weeks. Time Traveler, thank you so much for the membership, dude. Thank you so much for the gifted membership. Congrats to Johnny for getting that. Let's go, Johnny. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. I'm doing good, A Gaming. I'm doing good. No, I'm sure they do, Go Kart. This was a very long time, the one that we're talking about. This was at the release of Rancho Del Arroyo, which was like within my first year of being a content creator. So it's been like three plus years ago, right? If I'm not mistaken. Back then, Call of the Wilds updates were a lot more buggy than they are now. Nowadays, we actually have it like pretty good. Believe it or not, even with like the, the amount of bugs that still slip through, it's nowhere near what the game was like three to four years ago and before then even. Like, holy crap, every update was like literally just a bug fest. Nowadays, there's a couple bugs here and there every update, but nowhere near what we used to have to put up with. It was really bad a few years ago. Like the release of Silver Ridge Peaks in Rancho Del Arroyo, and I think Tiawaroa maybe as well. All like some of the roughest times, man. Oh, no worries, Johnny. Do what you gotta do. Time Traveler, dude, thank you for the uh, membership as well. Welcome back. Welcome back as a member, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. I do miss the CSGO days. I've been tempted to get back into CSGO. I just don't have the time nowadays. Like, I can really only play, like, one or two other games 
aside from the hunter. Just because I, I don't have a lot of time in the day to dedicate towards other games. So I kind of have to pick and choose what I play outside of the hunter. If you want to see all the zones that I hunt, Captain Cool, I've got like a couple of different guides on it. But the thing is, I don't ever recommend copying the same zones that somebody's hunting because your map is going to be different than like everybody else's map. So it really isn't worth like trying to hunt the exact same spots because like I've grinded my map for tens of thousands of kills. I've cultivated these herds. Like spots where I've got herds, you may not have herds. And spots that you have herds, I might not have herds. Like all of these zones are kind of where the herd management fell. I'm Traveler, dude. Thank you for another gifted membership. Holy crap, man. Holy. Thank you so much. Congrats to Terrell for getting that. Let's go, man. Let's go. W's in chat for Time Traveler. Oh yeah, dude, for sure. I'll let John know. And no, we don't we don't really chat with Browning anymore. I haven't talked to Browning in I mean before I started doing YouTube really. That was the last time I chatted with him. Ooh, there's our three. Okay, let's get this guy down. This is probably a pretty big diamond. Ah, he was tucked away. Oh, well. Who's 70, 28? That's a max weight as well. He thick. He big thick. We love to see it. We love to see those thick racks. Oh, yeah. Elsie's albino great one is like one of a kind. As far as we know, nobody's ever got another one. Whoa, three bucks here this time. Excuse me. That's not normal. Normally, this is a two buck zone. <laughs> Holy crap, that three-piece, man. We're popping off. We're popping off. Hey, it's another diamond. We're at 20 diamonds on this grind right now. Getting up there. Triple kill. Yeah. Triple kill. I can't do the voice. But hey, I tried. That's all that matters. Nice, Caleb. Yo, what's up, Luca? How you doing, man? Hope you're doing good. Okay, no hunting pressure here. Three hundred and thirty three kills into the grind. Holy crap. Minkarami, thank you for the five gifted memberships on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Holy. <laughs> thank you so much. Congrats to Aiden, G-Man, Carson, uh, Zaki, and Deer Hunter for getting those gifteds. Holy, man. That's incredible. Really appreciate the support. Time Traveler, thank you for the super chat as well. I hope you get that typical Rat Crow. We're going to do our best. I really hope we do as well. Thank you so much once again. And Mink, thank you for the four months as a member. And Jackson, thank you for the 21 months as a member. Holy. 
Oh no, he's floating! Unbelievable. This is unfreaking believable. What's up, Platinum? Oh my gosh! And our buck went over to the other side. Rip. Oh well. Oh, gotcha, Zaki. Yeah, I've heard those claims too, but yeah, it's one of those things you can't really prove, unfortunately. Who knows? Hard to say, man. Pretty sure the only, like, rumors that I had heard was that he did pop resets a lot. That's the only thing I had heard about him. Ooh, level three. And a two behind him. I've been good, Luca. I've been doing good. I've been doing great. Hold on one second. I need to move my chat around a little bit. There we go. Bobbing for fish. Sounds about right. Ah! We just got jump scared by the fish. <laughs> Why does that always happen? Oh, man. It's always so funny when the little, like, uh, the little, like, ambient perch just pop out and say hello. <laughs> that genuinely scared me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things, Merle, where I probably wouldn't consider that cheating. That is what I would actually consider an exploit, right? I would probably consider that exploiting. Now, let me be let me be completely clear with it. There's a difference between somebody like resetting their population manually one time to fix like a broken map than there is with somebody that just spams them till he gets good trophies. Like there's a massive difference. The developers in the past have said that it's okay to do it to fix like broken populations and stuff. In fact, they recently even said that if you wanted to get past the whole like issue with the bears and their new time that you could do that but yeah if you're just doing it over and over again to get trophies then that would definitely be exploiting but if you're doing it just to fix like a broken population like the devs have like recommended in the past then i don't see anything wrong with people doing it like that but yeah if it's being done like with the sole purpose of just like spamming it to get trophies that's definitely exploiting Because you're actively, like, you know, removing files to try and get your trophies and stuff. So, yeah, I would call that uh, exploiting for sure. But if you do it once to fix a broken population, probably not. I can only be done on PC, Darko. However, if you do any grinds of any kind, I would never recommend doing it because it just erases all of your grind progress. Three forty one on the kills now. Holy. You should go for a super rare elk. That'd be fun. Maybe. I mean, I only want to do one super rare grind at a time. We're currently doing the mule deer one. So I'm not going to start up any other super rare grinds until we've either got that or have gave up on it. Because <laughs> we very well might give up on it if it takes like 20,000 kills and we still don't have it, you know. To 
be honest, it's not even a super rare grind for our mule deer. It's just a mule deer grind in hopes of getting some good size rares. Um, yeah. If you, if you DM me in, in, gosh, I can't speak. If you DM me in Discord, I can send you John's, uh, friend code. Because I'm pretty sure I've still got you on Discord and, or Steam. Either one. Either one's fine. Ooh, another good three. Another big boy three. Yes, dilute mule deer are rare. They are indeed. There we go. There's the Discord. Boom. Uh, yeah, Purple Frog. The best way to keep hunting pressure down is to use stands or blinds. That's a dime. Boom. Love to see it. Did not hit that one good. Oh, man. What's up, Chip? Welcome back. I don't know if you've been here the whole time and just like not talking, but welcome back, Chip. What about a great one, Raccoon Dog? That could be kind of crazy, for sure. Could definitely be crazy. Mm, this probably isn't even worth chasing. Just a waste of time. How's it going, Kaysen? How's it going? Got so excited I killed an albino diamond bunny in multiplayer. Then I saw a melanistic diamond road here. Ah, man. Those hacked servers are the worst to run into, man. They're the absolute worst. It's so demotivating when, like, you're in multiplayer, you find a cool trophy, then you look around and literally everything is super rares and stuff, and then you're like, well, that ruined everything for me. <laughs> Great one, Side Stripe Jackal. That would be like the ultimate. Like the ultimate uh, impossible grind. Jackal would be so tough. It'd be so tough. I just realized I fast traveled to the wrong tent. I got to get used to having this zone back in the rotation. Got to remember that we're hunting this zone right here again. Ooh. That was hot. We love to see it. The drop shots are the best. A great one for someone who is super bored. If you're super bored, gosh, what would be the best great one to grind when bored? Because you wouldn't want something that's like really slow paced and annoying. If, if you're wanting to grind a great one while you're bored, I would avoid Moose and Black Bear. I'd say it's probably Fallow Deer or Whitetail are the best for when you're bored. Because, like, Fallow Deer and Whitetail give you constant action. So it's a lot easier to keep yourself interested. I think the next great one should be Mule Deer. Mule Deer great one would be awesome. Like the time he found a dead great one for sure. That was such a tragic experience. What's up, Michaela? How's it going? Got my first ever great one Red Deer yesterday. 1,000 kills, 25 diamonds, 6 rares. Let's go, dude. That's awesome, Carson. That's awesome. Nothing there. All right, Luca. I'll check it after the stream. Uh, somebody should probably tell Stoop that his uh, his stream's bugging out if he can't hear sound. 
if uh, if you if you're in the Twitch chat watching this, somebody should probably tell him that he's uh he's got something going on. Ooh, let's go, Christian. That's insane, man. That's insane. No clue, Mahik. No clue, man. They really don't, like, tell us the next great one until, like, it's almost released, you know? My guess would be they'll probably release one with the next map. And right now, we don't even know when the next map will get released. So, it's probably going to be a bit before we learn what the next great one is. No, you didn't miss any trophies, Otter World. Just a couple of diamonds, but neither of them were, like, super massive. It's honestly been a really long time since we've had a rare. I think it's been over 500 kills since our last rare. Gotta be close, man. We gotta be close to getting another rare. Welcome back, Nate. A big... <laughs> a great one, Rabbit. Holy. I almost said a big rig rabbit. A great one, Rabbit, would be kind of crazy. That would be ridiculous, though. <laughs> Brober would be happy, but not many other people would. <laughs> what will be the next map? Right now, we don't know. They have not gave, like, any types of clues or hints right now. I'm hoping that we'll get something soon. Because, man, it's been a while without any major news. Right now, literally the only thing we have to go off of that might not even be a clue is when they put out that poll a couple months ago, they had a species on there that wasn't in the game, but they took it off shortly after. So it's hard to say if it was a mistake or if it's actually something that'll be in the game. But as of now, that's like the only even glimmer of a possibility of a hint that we've seen. And it was likely just a mistake. Ooh, big boy three. That's a good one. That could score pretty high. That could potentially be a giant right there. The HM popping off today, man. I know, Michaela. It's just crazy. Like, it has been... Like, time has just been flying this year. Feels like 2024 just started and we're already four months into it, man. Just wild. That's another diamond, though. Not as big as I thought it was. 263 is actually kind of small for that rack. There we go. 357 kills into the grind. What's the best map for a moose grind? Definitely Layton. Layton is just so far above the others for moose. A lot of people avoid it because of the brush, but the moose are tall enough to where they stand above the brush in many cases. So I really do recommend Layton for moose. I feel like it's so far above the other maps. Because you only have to search half of the map and there's way less moose to find. Like, you only have to search this half right over here. And you'll be able to find all your moose zones just on that half of the map. Not to mention there's less zones to find because of the fact that there's less moose in general. I think I had, like, maybe 115 zones versus the 130 plus that you would find on, like, Medved or Revontuli. I think Revontuli might even get upwards of 150. And the, the 200 zones on New England. Like, Leighton has way less zones. Making it a lot easier to find everything. Now, 
Nothing there, eh? Oh no, Aiden, rip. Nice fishing boy, nice. Yeah, it's a fun experience. I really enjoy it. Bear, dude, thank you so much for the super chat. That's super nice of you. I really appreciate that. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing good as well. Hope you've been having an awesome day. Awesome week. Awesome month. All of the above. Okay, thanks also. What is the best map for a red deer grind besides Tiawaroa? Since I have Fallow on there. Um, so aside from Tiawaroa, I would recommend either Emerald Coast or Parque Fernando. My brother absolutely raves about how good Parque Fernando is for red deer. I've never hunted it myself, but he says it's really, really good. I've done New England Red Deer. It's nowhere near as easy as Tiawaroa, but it's not nearly as difficult as, like, Hirschfelden would be. Hey, thank you for the super chat again, man. Having a great day now that I got to see my favorite YouTuber live. Let's go, dude. Welcome back, Bear. It's good to have you back. Thank you so much for the support once again. New England Red Deer. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Imagine if New England Red Deer could exist. Be fantastic. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, nothing there. MJC, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Is it worth to have all the DLC maps? I'd say yes, just because you don't have to rely on multiplayer whenever you want to play them. Like, it is nice that Call of the Wild gives you the opportunity to play multiplayer and be able to hunt all the maps for free, but I just... I don't think it gives you the same experience as single player does. I'd say it is worth it to have all of them. But considering they go on sale super often, if you don't want to just spend the full price for all of them, you can wait for a sale because they, they have a lot of sales for Call of the Wild. But yeah, I'd say whenever you can, it's definitely worth getting all of them. Holy crap, dude. Tyler, thank you for the super chat as well. Love your vids. Good luck. Thank you, dude. Thank you. You guys are absolutely going wild. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I can't even keep up today. Wait, how did they spook? How did they spook off? Crazy. Should I buy all the DLCs on Call of the Wild or buy Way of the Hunter? Ooh, that's a tough choice. That's a tough choice, man, because Way of the Hunter is a good game. But uh, Call of the Wild has a lot of useful DLCs as well. I'd say if you're getting tired of Call of the Wild, buy Way of the Hunter. But... If you're still, like, super interested in Call of the Wild and you're really enjoying playing it and you can't see yourself, like, taking a break anytime soon, then maybe uh, spend the money on the DLCs for Call of the Wild. I'd say it's really up to you, but that's what I would recommend, depending on how you're feeling. Kelsey, thank you for the super chat as well. Oh my gosh, guys. What is going on? You guys are going crazy. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Super generous of you guys. Y'all are just going crazy. <laughs> Should I count my kills while setting for latent moose grind or, is it, or after it's managed down? Count from the very beginning because that's still progress like in your into your grind, you know? In fact, in many cases, I see people get their great one before they're done herd managing, so... I would definitely be keeping track the second you shoot one. Gosh, when are we going to get a great one to pop? Or even just a rare. Feels like ages since we've seen a rare. For sure, Luca. Luca. 
Nice, fishing boy. Gotten six level five medium fallow deer, and they were all trolls. That is painful. That is really rough RNG. How long do you have to do HM to get lots of diamond whitetail? I don't think it's really a matter of how long you have to do it. Because there's so many factors that go into it. Obviously, like, the more experience you have doing herd management, the faster and easier it's going to be to do it. Now, this is provided you're doing things correctly. I'd say it's usually, like, at least a thousand kills to get a map, like, decently managed. Minimum a thousand kills, I would say. <laughs> But it's so hard to like give you an exact time that it takes to manage down a map because everybody's got different skill levels. Everybody's got different amounts of knowledge on how to do it. And different people do it different ways. So it's tough to give a, an actual like estimate of how long it's going to take for you. I mean, I can tell you how long it takes me to do it. Like, with my fallow deer grind, couldn't have been much more than a thousand kills before I got everything to the state it's at now. Maybe a couple thousand at the most. But a lot of it comes down to your luck. Like, you might get really unlucky and have, like, a hard time shooting down zones. You might just not be getting level ones. You might have a, a lot of trouble getting any low levels to spawn. There's a lot of factors that go into it. We're on a dry streak? Yeah, it's been ages since we got a rare. Nice, CG. Appreciate you being here, man. You should do a fallow grind on Emerald. Possibly. It's a possibility. I've already got, like, my Red Deer set up there and my Bantang set up, so I don't know. We'll have to see. Is there a way I can tell you the name of another streamer that has 91 great ones legitimately uh you could dm it to me in discord fishing boy you could even just put it in the chat if you want to 91 is pretty impressive that's a good number that's like right in between what myself and i buy have Jeez, we actually got both of those shots. Kind of surprised. Yeah, still no typical rack, Judzy. We're just not lucky enough. Call of the Wild doesn't like us enough to give us the typical rack. Hey, that's a diamond. What is that, our fifth diamond of the day, I think? Maybe sixth? It's either fifth or sixth. Just set up Moose on Medved because Leighton wasn't working out. Oh, gotcha, Kraken, gotcha. How far in advance do they usually announce new maps? Uh, like a month, I think? That's what they usually do, is they'll they'll announce it like a month in advance. Uh, they'll do like the first stream. They'll like put out a post or two that like show it off a little bit. Then they'll do a stream kind of giving the first look and explaining stuff about it. Then like another week, they usually show off the great one if there's a new great one coming with it. And then... There's usually, like, the content creator early access for, like, a week before. Like, they usually have, like, a very similar pattern. So, yeah, I'd say usually about a month before release is when they start talking about it. What's up, King OD? How's it going? Welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing good. Ooh, 
Ooh. That's a big boy. Oh, could that be a 274 or a 275? Definitely got the best chance out of any of them we've seen today. About 300 away as well. Could you imagine if that thing was piebald? Oh my gosh, it'd be awesome. Uh, there is slugs for the shotguns in Way of the Hunter, Toxic. We have slugs for all of them. All right, let's see. What's this guy going to score? Come on, be a good in. Be a good in, a thick in, a big in. Eh, I'm going to say 272. Yeah, 272, 82. Kind of figure that's what most of them score. Yes, there is slugs. Oh, you said way of the hunter. I was thinking the hunter call of the wild. My brain's in call of the wild mode right now. So I just assumed the question was about call of the wild. Not gonna lie, we usually don't have many Way of the Hunter questions, so I just assume that most of the hunting related ones are Call of the Wild. What's up, Silas? How's it going? Yeah, Toxic for sure. <laughs> yeah, it can be tough to juggle two different chats while grinding. I try my best, though. We're at 371 kills. No, oh, floaters again. Nice, Joe. Nice. Hopefully you have some good luck on your grind. Yeah, Luca. <laughs> For sure. Is there a new map that I'd really want to see? There's a few that I would love to have in game. Number one for me is I'd love a Texas game ranch with a bunch of exotic species. Uh, number two is I would like to see an Asia map with a bunch of cool species from there. Um, I'd also like to see a British Columbia map. And of course, Africa too. I'd love to see another Africa map with like a lot of cool stuff that we don't have. New Zealand 2.0, not gonna lie. I wouldn't mind that blue. There's still some species that we didn't get on Tiawaroa that would be cool. Try doing herd management, put down. Oh. Message disappeared. Put tents down by the drinking zones when it's time that the whitetail is supposed to be there. They're never there. That's just part of it, man. If you're setting it to the beginning of the time, they're going to likely be very late. That's why I always just hunt the last hour. And early on in grinds, that's why I always recommend going through the same areas twice in different directions and at different times in the drink time. Yeah, Toxic, that'd be crazy. That'd be super awesome. Hopefully one of these days, man. Ooh, he made it. It has been a diamond kind of day. 
Just diamonds everywhere. How hard is Medved Moose? Uh, it's decently difficult. It takes a long time to herd manage it. That's for sure. And they move a lot. Like, it, there's so many moose, they can be literally anywhere on the map. And there's, like, so many solos that they're constantly moving. So, yeah, it's pretty tough. I live in Oregon, uh, Melanie. Yeah, we've been popping diamonds like crazy today. I mean, our whitetail grind has always been one of our best producing HM grinds ever. Uh, yeah, Jericho, I'd say it does still feel kind of weird not taxing diamonds. It's like if, if they made it so that we could have infinite lodges, I'd tax every single diamond I get, but... Yeah, because we have limited space. Once you've filled up all those lodges, you got to be selective as to what you keep. Jivers, thank you for the five months. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I pretty much only tax the 275s for uh, Whitetail, unless it's super wonky. If I get a super wonky diamond, I'll tax that. Uh, sometimes I'll tax the 274s as well if they look cool enough. Yeah, I'd say the same, Blue. Like, I, I think I stopped taxing Diamond Bears quicker than Whitetail or Fallow. Uh, just due to the fact that, yeah, like, Bears, no matter how high they score, a Diamond Bear is always going to look the same. So, yeah, after I had, like, 10 max scores, I stopped taxing them. I really wish uh, EW would give us a way to filter trophies and, like, more easily delete ones that we don't want out of our trophy manager. Because, like, I got so many trophies that I don't need anymore. Like, for example, when I was first starting my HM grinds for Red Deer, I was taxing every single diamond. Because it was the first time I had really done HM and I didn't realize how many diamonds I was going to get throughout the experience. And so I definitely have like 50 or 60 diamond red deer <laughs> that I that I just don't need. Holy smokes, they're getting smoked. Do they have the animals fight in Way of the Hunter? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I, that's something I'd like to see in Call of the Wild as well. Call of the Wild and Way of the Hunter should both add, like, more animal interactions. That'd be great. Holy, we got all three. That's a rarity. Hey, Dino Nerd, I'm doing good. Doing really good. Holy crap. Bear, thank you for the super chat again. Can you show me your whitetail drink zones, please? Uh, I could try, but I have 71 of them, so. I mean, most of the places that you see a drink zone is where you could find them. Most of the places you're seeing here are whitetail. Like, all this is whitetail for the most part. It's whitetail and moose. Like, if you just check all those areas, you'll probably find the majority of your whitetail. 
if you want like a more detailed map, uh, go to the herd management guides playlist on the channel and find the one whitetail video that's in there. I actually show like a map with all my zones that I had at the time marked down. I think at that time I only had 65 of my current 71. But it shows the majority of what I had. Ooh. Level three. Little basket rack action. Yeah, to be honest, Go-Kart, I kind of like the smaller maps in Way of the Hunter. I feel like when they're super big, like, it's difficult to unlock everything in the amount of time that I have to play Way of the Hunter. I mean, obviously, I'm just speaking for myself here, but... I kind of like it when Way of the Hunter does the, the smaller size maps. I feel like it's more manageable, and they usually perform better, too. Okay, we got them all. Took a little while, though. One hour till arc time? Oh, man, Chip. See, if I didn't already have, like, Tackle Tuesday and this stream right here scheduled, I'd be playing some arc later, too, but I, I don't think I'll- I don't think I'm gonna have time to stream arc. Because we'll get done with this stream in like an hour, maybe two hours, depending on how I feel. And then Tackle Tuesday is going to go from six to eight. And like half the time we end up doing something after with Tipsy, like a phobia or something. So I don't know if I'll be able to play Ark today, even though I want to. Nice, Steelers, dude. That's awesome. Must be a lucky diamond. Kelsey, thank you for the super chat once again. Small mail. Wow. Small mail. Rude. Thank you for the super chat, though. MJC, thank you for the one month as a member. Welcome back. I just don't like face cam, Fox. I don't even have it out. It's stuffed away in my closet. Because I just don't like using a face cam. Never have, probably never will. I think I'm going to try the caves for artifacts now that I got a good thyla bread last night. Nice chip, nice. Love to see it. I didn't miss too much, Apian. Couple of diamonds, but aside from that, no rares or great ones. Oh, for sure, Ethan. For sure. I just don't like having a camera on me for hours at a time. Because then it comes like, uh, it comes down to me just worrying about how I'm looking on camera, and then because of that, I'm more stressed out and can't stream as long. I just find it more relaxing and chilled to stream without a face cam. Less pressure on me. Easier to just do what I do. However, I have contemplated bringing the hand cam back. Because last time I did the hand cam, a lot of you liked that. 
That way you can see like my mouse movements and stuff. Oh man, crayfish. Well, good luck, dude. Good luck, my dude. Hope it goes well for you. What the three? There's three buckaroos there. Well, technically five, but three that we can shoot. Ah, reloads. Unfortunate. Nice, Hello99. That's awesome, dude. Have I ever done a subathon? No, I haven't. Never done a subathon or anything like that. I've considered doing it. I've had a lot of people ask me in the past if I'd ever do something like that. I guess I've just never really felt the need to do it. But who knows, maybe sometime we'll do it. Maybe for my 200k celebration, we'll do it. I'd have to figure out how to set everything up for it though. Because I've never even considered doing it until you just mentioned that. No, Pack. You can't. You have to keep track of all your kills, like, separately. Unfortunately. What map am I on? This is Leighton Lake District. Finally got a rare after 1,400 kills. Jeez, Nate. That's crazy. Thumb cam? Thumb cam's where it's at. That'd be interesting. Literally just like a, a camera like attached to my thumb. <laughs> or is it a, a camera just looking at my thumb? That's it. You guys wanted content. Here you go. <laughs> oh, we're grinding whitetail deer. Two forty two. Toe cam. <laughs> we'll see, Nate. We'll see. We'll see. That's probably going to be a few years from now, so... We will have to see how it be. Couple bucks there. I'm going to convince you, Crow. <laughs> I don't know, Nate. It's tough to convince me to travel long distances because I hate traveling so much. <laughs> like, I don't mind traveling, like, one state over. But I hate long traveling. Just, just don't like it. However, I still think that you should come down to Oregon sometime and we can go fishing for Chinook salmon and stuff. Or, maybe even one of these days, just meet in the middle somewhere. Meet in the middle so it's not as long of a journey for either party. Jebba, what's up, dude? What's up, Jebba? 
At 500k, you should also dual CJO with a hot dog sword on stream. <laughs> wow. That would be interesting. <laughs> CJO would definitely do it, though. He would definitely do it. Crayfish, thank you for the membership. Welcome back. Welcome back, Crayfish. You'd win, of course. I mean, maybe. Maybe. How's Nate going to get his recliner there? <laughs> good point. Good point. How is he? How would he possibly do that? We need an eye cam. Like, it's just so close to my face that you only see my eyes. You know what? Yeah, I think we'll do it. I think I might set up the hand cam again sometime soon. That way you can guys see all my uh, quick flicks and tricks. Quick flicks, tricks. Quick flicks and tricks. Two forty ain't bad. Kill count four oh five. We're getting up there in kills, man. Jebba, have you had a chance to play the new arc map? Well, it's not a new arc map, but you know what I mean—the ASA version of Scorched Earth. Have you had a chance to pop on and play it? I've been loving it. Yes, Pack, I, I do indeed remember it. It gets brought up pretty much every stream. How long have I been in the grind? This particular grind? Like maybe three streams? Uh, Whitetail grinding as a whole? Years? I've been grinding Whitetail off and on for years at this point. Oh, gotcha, Jeva. I I mean, I would say definitely try it out, man. I got some servers going if you're interested. I've got a Scorched Earth server clustered with an island server. It has been fun times playing. And it comes with... Uh, it comes with Survival Ascended, so you don't have to, like, buy a DLC... Like all the all the DLC maps are free in Survival Ascended. We messed up the other one. Unfortunate, man. Yes, Austin, it does. There's no difference between the PC and console versions of the game. Aside from like very basic minor differences like the multiplayer list and things like that, but Overall, there's not too much differences between the PC and console versions of Call of the Wild. Oh yeah, for sure, Jebba, for sure. I can add you to the ARC uh, group chat that I've got going for my server, uh, Jebba. What's up, Wolf? How's it going? Oh, you don't have to announce it, Christian. Just do what you got to do, man. I understand. Aha! He stopped for one second too many. 
And that was his demise. Yes, we do have the wyverns already. I went over to the island on like day two or three and got a couple pteranodons tamed up. So we were able to just like zoom in there and get some wyvern eggs. Got a 190 and a 170 fire immediately. It was amazing. It was absolutely incredible. Three bucks there. Jeez, you love to see it, man. Ah, uh, that sounds somewhat familiar, Wolf. I'm back after driving one hour home. Welcome back, Dork Vids. Oh, thank you, one arm man. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the kind words. What will I do when I reach one mil? Uh... I haven't even thought about it, man, because uh, let's be honest, one mil is very far away. We're at 200k right now. It's going to be a few years at least before we hit a million. So I haven't even started to think. I'm thinking more of like what I'm going to do for 200k still. Like I still haven't even done like a special 200k celebration yet. I need to get like that type of stuff situated. I only see one buck here, but there could be one tucked in the back. Ah, there he is. Knew it. Knew there was one hiding. There always is. There we go. One. Ah, two. Two. We got two. That little guy likes to hide back there, eh? I saw another deer near him, so I don't know if I want to shoot, just in case I accidentally hit the doe. Oh, both the does are there. We're good. Okay. Nice. That actually worked out quite well. I was a little concerned for a second that it wouldn't work out well. How many months is the diamond badge? Uh, 36 months, I believe. Because it's the uh, three-year badge. You could delete the Great One Lodge for 200k and start all over? Just kidding? Wow. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I, oof, that would be tough. Uh, it'd have to be a much bigger milestone than 200k to delete my entire Great One Lodge. <laughs> That's for sure, Jebba, that's for sure. Speaking of Great One Lodges, did you hear what happened to iBuy's Lodge, Jebba? iBuy's Windows, like his operating system corrupted. And he lost like all of his lodges. Super sad, man. Super sad. 420 kills on the grind. Austin, thank you for becoming a member, man. Really appreciate that. Enjoy the perks that come with that. The emotes, extra Discord channel, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool stuff. What's up, Volt? How you doing, sir? Uh, you missed like eight or nine diamonds, uh, Spider. Still no rares and no great ones, though. Like, we have been after a rare, like another rare for quite a while now. We got to be approaching 600 kills since our last rare. 
I mean, I really badly want a super rare, but if I can't even get a regular rare, that's not going to happen. We're just hoping that during one of these grinds, we'll get a big super rare. Yeah, I by lost all of his lodges a few weeks ago. Very unfortunate, man. I can hear the great one tingling. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's why I always back up my save file on a separate hard drive, like a completely different hard drive than where the main save is. Like, I have my backup save on an external hard drive. Do you know the average of diamonds in between great ones you've killed? No, I don't keep track of that. I don't keep track of that because it really doesn't mean anything. Like, you're going to have a different number of diamonds for every single grind. Whether you're doing HM or no HM. So I don't really see it being worth, like, keeping track of how many diamonds I get each grind. Or I guess, like, what the average would be between great ones. Yeah, it's a pretty cool trophy, Quate. Definitely a cool one. Uh, maybe Caleb rocks. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I I've never really looked into what the Whitetail Great Ones are based off of. Like, I've looked into the Red Deer ones because I was super, like, super happy that they based one of the White... Or, uh, not Whitetail. One of the Red Deer Great Ones off of a real-life one that I had seen, like, many times that I absolutely loved. But I haven't looked into the Whitetail. I'm sure it probably is. As far as I know, I think they've said before that all of the uh, all of the racks in game are loosely based off of real life racks. There's a buck. Been a bit since we've had one there. Oh, gotcha, Caleb. Gotcha. Four hundred and thirty kills. We're getting up there, dude. We are getting up there. Any luck today? Uh, lots of luck with diamonds. No luck with anything else, though. What's my favorite rare that I have? My Diamond Albino Maxway Red Deer, 100%. That thing is... It's just easily my favorite. Jebba coming in with the five gifteds. Let's go, Jebba. Let's go, Jebba. Holy crap, man. Thank you. Congrats to Blue, Volt, Cole, Merle, and Kevin. Holy. You sniped almost all the regulars. <laughs> Let's go, Jebba. Thank you for that, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully that will be the good luck we needed to get ourselves a great one. Oh, it's a big three, though. Not a great one, but that's a big boy three. 
That's a really big three, actually. Holy crap. Look at that thing. That's really big. That could potentially be 274 or 275. We say that every time, but it never happens. <laughs> Bear, thank you for the super chat. Dude, what is the level of whitetail for it to be a diamond? Uh, level three is primarily the ones that are going to make diamond, but you can occasionally get a level two diamond whitetail. It's just really rare. Let's see. Oh, that looks good. That looks good, guys. I'm going to say, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say it's going to be 275.53, which is pretty much the biggest they get aside from the 276 that has only happened twice and we don't even know if it's like legit. I think 275.53. Oh, wow. 270. Oh my gosh. That's actually kind of shocking. Huh. 270.75. That's, uh, that's a little surprising, actually. Wow. I thought this thing would have been bigger. I mean, diamond's a diamond, but... It looked huge! I thought for sure it was at least 273. That's wild. Couple little guys over there. <laughs> oh, man. What's my favorite great one? Definitely the moose. Definitely the moose. Any lives tomorrow? Um, If there is a live stream tomorrow, it's not going to be guaranteed because tomorrow's a recording day. Tomorrow's a recording day, but if I get all the recording done early, then it's possible that I will do a stream. We will see. <laughs> For sure, Chip. Johnny guesses like crazy, man. His guesses are always on point. Another three there. Ah, I'm going to say 254. Doesn't look that big. Uh, not sure, Andrew. I haven't really talked to him much today. Ah, 254. I called it. Called it. 254. Is there any animal that I would want out of the game? Wait, are you talking about, like, is there any particular animal that I would want out of everything in the game? Or are you talking about, is there an animal I would get rid of? We're talking an animal that I'd get rid of. Lynx, because they've been so rude to me. Um, But if I could have any animal in the entire game. Diamond, leucistic, rusadir, for sure. Or, no, no, no. Fabled, piebald, typical rack, whitetail. That would be my pick. I'd want that. Boot the beavers, I know, right? They're not even in the game, but they take down our tents. Unbelievable. Stubble quail? I'll be honest, I kind of like the stubble quail. They're not bad. That's wild, Blue. That's crazy. That's insanity. Crazy luck. Yes, same Jebba. Please add beavers. EW, if you're listening, the whole community would be so happy if we got beavers in the game. Everybody would be so, so happy. We could get our revenge finally.
Unbelievable is right. For sure. <laughs> Speaking of bears, I've kind of been itching to shoot some bears again. It's been a while. I feel like it's been like a month at least since I shot a black bear. Maybe uh, one of these upcoming streams will have to be like a dual um, white tail and bear stream. Because I still want to be making progress towards getting a typical rack. But I also want to hunt something else too. So close. So close. Hey, E3, what's up, dude? Uh, we're at 442 kills currently. Oh, yeah, I stream on both Twitch and YouTube, uh, Raditz. I do multi-streaming. So I, I, I go live on both platforms at the same time. Ah, uh, he's so far away. I'll claim him. We already saw him, so might as well. Oh, sorry to hear that, TSM. What's my favorite fast food place? Gotta be Five Guys. Five Guys is just so good. I mean, it's borderline fast food. Like, it's almost too good to be considered a fast food place, but I, I suppose they are considered fast food. So, yeah, Five Guys is my favorite place. Their burgers are just incredible. And so are their fries. Just fantastic. Yeah, it's incredible. It's just so good. I haven't had Five Guys in a while, though. It's been like a couple months since I had it last. I need to go back and get some more. It's been a while since I've had some. Level three. Smaller three, though. Not sure if I've heard of Freddy's. Assuming it's probably not a, an Oregon chain. If only one of those was rare, I know, right? If only this guy was. Well, it would have been a troll. It would have been a troll rare if it was a rare. And that would have been tragic. Ah, uh, Moose on Late and I stopped counting after 110. Isaac, so it's over 110 zones. I would estimate between 115 and 130. Because after a while, I just stopped counting. Yeah, cool. You got gifted a membership. Okay, let's just take a moment, guys. Let's just take a moment to appreciate everybody that has donated and gave out gifted memberships today let's get the w's in chat let's get the w's in chat in appreciation to everybody that has donated and given out memberships today some absolute legends man let's go you love to see all the w's the W's, the Legends, all that good stuff. 240. That ain't bad. That's a solid one. Uh, yeah, facts. I do stream on YouTube. I'm streaming on YouTube right now, along with Twitch. I 
I always multi-stream, so I stream on both at the same time. Um, hunt the coastline, Iris. That's that's the only tip I really have. I haven't done a croc grind before. Like I, I've hunted crocs off and on, but I've never done like an actual grind with them. Appreciated, uh, facts appreciated. Doesn't matter to me which platform you guys watch on, whichever one you like more. What matters is that you guys are here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate that, MJC. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Ooh, hi. A little bit larger male. Got him. Nice, Colton. Nice. You know, that reminds me. I need to do an alligator hunt again. It's been a while. It has been a while since I've hunted the gators, and I always really had a lot of fun with them. So I think tomorrow I'll probably record a gator hunting video. You think we'll get a Kinsko Rack Whitetail in 234 kills? That would be... How many kills would that be in? 684? So you're thinking at 684 is when we'll get our great one. We shall see. Later, Jebba. Thank you for dropping in, dude. Hold on, my headset just beeped. It means I need to charge it. There we go. We're plugged in now. Are you still way of the angling hunter of the wild? Uh, sure. I, I guess. I guess. I guess we'll say yes to that. Oh, that's crazy, Rose. That's crazy. Would I like a swimming mechanic for all the floaters? I mean, it'd be really cool if our hunters could swim in this, but... Let's be honest, how realistic would that be? I mean, I get it, we're already not doing the most realistic stuff by bouncing from tent to tent to tent, but... How often would somebody who's out hunting... Be swimming out in all their hunting gear... To collect a, to collect a couple deer in the middle of the lake? I just feel like it would be weird. It, I feel like it would be weird to be able to swim in Call of the Wild. That might just be me, but... I, I just feel like it would feel weird. Would it be nice and convenient? Yes. Would they do it? Probably not. Missed. Feels bad. Yeah, it would just feel odd to me. Now, you know what I would like? For them to make us so they float faster. Just speed up the floating process by times two, and we wouldn't even have an issue. 
If they just floated faster, it would be so much better. That's a guaranteed dime there. Oh, nice, Bryce, nice. Jabba, thank you for the super chat, dude. Before I go, smash the like button, homies. Thank you, Jebba, thank you. And you heard him. Hit that like button, guys, if you haven't already. If you're on Twitch, hit the follow button. I appreciate you all. That's a beautiful dime there. Do you think you'll ever do a Trophy Lodge tour in the near future? I it wasn't that long ago that I did my Trophy Lodge tour. So it probably won't be anytime soon, no. Because I did my uh, Great One Lodge tour like maybe three months ago. Three or four months ago, I think. I might be incorrect on the time period, but I know it's been like within the last six months. And I haven't really got enough trophies to do a full Lodge tour since my last one. Because I have two separate lodges. I have my Great One Lodge, and then I have my regular lodge. The regular lodge has only got, like, maybe five to ten new additions, so I don't think that's enough to warrant a new lodge tour. Yeah, but think of it this way. AP, and if I did a new lodge tour every time I got a new great one or every time I got a couple new great ones, I'd be doing a lodge tour every couple weeks or every month. Yeah, true, Ethan, true. Honestly, what they really need to do with the whitetail deer and like all of the non-waterfowl species is just change their pathing. Make it so they don't run to the water after you shoot them. Make it so they run like away from the water. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Because right now there's too many scenarios where they just go straight for the water. I don't know how tough it would be to implement, but some type of system that makes them run away from water would be much appreciated, man. It'd be much appreciated. What trophy am I most proud of? Yeah, I'd probably have to say the diamond albino red deer. I think that's still my most, uh, the one I'm most proud of. Although maybe the diamond Mela Moose just because of how that situation unfolded. Like how shocking it was. And how scary it was. Thinking that I almost messed it up. But anyway guys. I think that's going to be it for the stream because I still have one more stream to do today. So be sure to be back here on the channel in one hour for Tackle Tuesday. Tackle Tuesday is about to be wild. It's going to be a very unique competition that we're doing this week, so you will not want to miss it. And it's for the biggest fish in the game. So I'll see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.